Welcome back friends. So today I have, I think, a series, I guess we'll call it, a series of triggers um, for ASMR that I don't think you've probably found in a lot of other places, but it's very, um, I think it'll be very interesting. So I'm an artist. Ah. <laughs> And um, one thing that I use a lot of is paper towel. And I use it to absorb my, my water and my excess paint. But what that leaves me with is all of these Very interesting. Oh, that looks like a butterfly. Oh, that's pretty. Um, all of these very interestingly and decorated is not the right word. Um, interestingly colored, interestingly abstract painted. All of these interestingly absorbed paper towels. Look at my paper towels. I realize that's essentially what I'm saying. Here I have pretty paper towels. Come look at them. We'll see if that's too loud, maybe. But I can kind of open them up a little bit too. And so then we can really see the full. life has been a, a lesson in trying to do things a little more gently. It can have a bit of an accidental intensity, I think, sometimes. Ooh. Let's see, here we go. So it ends up kind of pretty in its own way. I'm trying to think of other ways to use um, the waste, the artist waste. No? Mm, that sounds bad. I'm trying to think of ways that I can use this sort of other, other bits that are um, normally sort of disregarded or thrown away because I think there's still some really pretty stuff here and maybe I could like crinkle it up and glue it down and make really interesting textures. I think that's something I could do with it. So maybe just some really interesting textural pieces. I'll try that maybe. Keep a look on my channel. Maybe you'll find that. you can really see I kind of go through phases with my colors. If you watch any of my painting uh, tutorials or um, paint with me videos, you'll usually hear me mention something about trying different colors. I think it's important to force myself outside of my comfort zone.
because there's certain colors I tend not to use as much. Um, this one is a good example. I brought in a lot more oranges and golds. I tend to not use those as frequently. So... this just pile of these various um, paper towels, painty, painty old paper towels, and I was about to unfold them all to kind of see what they look like and set them aside so I could use them for a project later. And I realized, wait a minute, these could maybe be really fun to sort of uh, enjoy the folding, unfolding, crinkly and tear sounds. And especially the aesthetic I, is not something that I've seen a lot as far as triggers go for ASMR. So I definitely think we're going to be doing some different ones here today. So yeah, another very fun pattern. It's like a little pine tree. interesting to me how um, the paint is so watered down that often it still can pull apart like that, but the paint doesn't actually stick it, um, like absorb it together to really make it all kind of one almost glued together kind of piece. It's very fun that it really does allow me to unfold. This one does have something sort of glued via paint <laughs> to it.
if you are somebody whose imagination is going and you think, I know, I know what would be fun to do with painty paper towels, I have a creative suggestion. Please let me know in the comments. Um, you know, I'm creative, but I'm certainly not the end all of creativity, so if you have suggestions for, you know, um, ways to cut it up, interestingly, or, um, you know, use it for some other thing, let me know. I would love to, I would love to hear what other people come up with. Or if you're an artist and you, um, you know, you've also come up with ways to kind of reuse your art trash. <laughs> um, let me know. Because I think there's so much just fun. Like, look at all those fun lines and colors. I don't know, I just think it's really pretty in a way. And if I could use it for something else later on, I'd much rather do that than just get rid of it, you know? I feel a bit guilty using paper towels. I'd like to use something that's um, reusable or, you know, sustainable. But I just, I haven't found anything that works as effectively. I've tried like old socks, I've tried old t-shirts, old sweatpants, just for different materials. To kind of see what would, what would maybe work to be as absorbent in the same way. Here's another one with more bright colors like the peaches, pink, coral, a little magenta. Ooh, we have some kind of mustard yellow and lemon yellows there. And lemon yellows there. A bit of gold. We have some Greens, some jungle greens and forest greens, lime green, yellow green, seafoam, olive green. This one has a lot of fun colors. Some grays and blacks and a little pain's gray which is kind of a bluish slate color. Interesting, this like pristine white patch here. Everything else is just messy. 
these are much more my my usual color palette, as you can see. <laughs> I love um, blues and greens. I love olive green. I use a lot of that. Um, like eggplant purple or magentas. I really enjoy. Uh, navy blue. I like how these colors all kind of blend together. I also really enjoyed the texture on the paper towels. In some of my art tutorials, you'll see how I use that texture. That texture to make marks on my pieces. This one doesn't have a lot of color variation. Just, just a bit of black. This one I could still use. <laughs> Look at all this usable absorbing space. Set that aside. about three more. My artsy paper towels. Sometimes you can peel them open. Nice color combination there as well.
would love to know if you enjoy my pretty but dirty old paper towels. <laughs> Do you like me sharing my art trash with you? <laughs> seems funny, but I think it's just, it adds such an interesting sound or a richer sound. And let me know if you like the Very abstract. And this is our final little baby guy. Ah. He's back. Don't worry. I dropped him. But I've dropped things before. I know how to pick them up. that too much. I know everyone's really in, in your face about it, and I kind of feel like if you like me, you'll, you'll like and subscribe, because that's what people do. But I do have to ask, because it does help. Um, you know, it helps a lot. And so, you know, if you want to share or recommend or comment, I'd really appreciate it does a lot, so thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I hope this was relaxing and pleasant. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you again soon.